Grenades are small explosives that are considered short-range missiles. Their name is thought to have originated from the French word used for pomegranate because the grenade has a bulbous shape. In fact, the very first grenades had a close resemblance to the fruit. They were developed in the 15th century and were very effective in combat especially when tossed into a ditch where enemy troops were taking cover during an assault. By the 17th century they had become so important that soldiers had to be particularly trained in their use and given the name grenadier. Their use decreased in the 18th century as military arms became more accurate and longer range. They surged back into use during the Russo-Japanese War, World War I, and even World War II. They are still used today and their use has extended to chemical weaponry, the creation of smoke screens and so much more. How do grenades work? Explosive grenades are made with the core filled with high explosives such as TNT encased in the iron container or iron jacket. The parts of a grenade include a fuse that is used to detonate it after a short time delay, or to detonate on impact. The time delay is short, often ranging between 3 to 5 seconds, and is necessary to allow the grenade to be thrown accurately without the person throwing it having an explosion on their hands. In addition, the short delay does not allow the enemy enough time to pick up the grenade and throw it back. One of the more common explosive grenades is known as the fragmentation grenade. It is encased in an iron jacket that is designed to specifically fragment or break into pieces that are small, fast-moving, and lethal once the explosive goes off. It is these fragments that cause damage to those in their way and can even lead to death. A good example of this grenade is the M67. This grenade weighs 400 grams or 14 ounces and has 180 grams or 6.5 ounces of explosive in it. It has a delay fuse and a safety pin to ensure that it doesn't explode accidentally. It is round and is commonly referred to as a baseball grenade. This design is comfortable in the hand and is easy to throw some 98 to 115 feet or 30 to 35 meters. The job of the fuse is to delay the grenade's detonation for 4 to 5 seconds after the spoon or safety pin has been released. Once it explodes, the iron container fragments and the fragments are hurled with force with potential to cause serious injury within a 49 feet or 15 meters radius. The fragments are fatal within a 16 feet or 5 meters radius. It is important to note that these fragments can actually be hurled as far as 820 feet or 250 meters. How to survive a grenade blast? Terrorist attacks have been on the increase around the world. It is therefore important to know how you can protect yourself in the event of a terrorist attack that includes a grenade attack. It is possible to survive a grenade blast if you are within range of the fragments by doing the following. 1. Take cover. Since it takes 3 to 5 seconds before the grenade detonates, you have 2 seconds to look around quickly and take cover before the explosion. Since the fragments will be flying all around you with great force, putting something between you and them is the best way to avoid being hit or minimizing the damage done to you if you do take a hit. Obviously the further away you are from the exploding grenade the better. 2. Plug your ears. One of the things to note is that the noise from a grenade blast is designed to be deafening. So once you have found cover, plug your ears with your fingers and also make sure that you close your mouth in order to counteract pressure. 3. The best and most effective way to avoid getting hit by a grenade or to minimize damage is to make sure that you reduce how much of you is exposed to the fragments. Lie on the ground on your belly with your legs pointing the direction of the grenade. Cover your head with your hands and cross your ankles. This is especially important if you cannot find adequate cover to hide behind. Emergency preparedness is important, and today that also includes knowing what to do should you face a terrorist attack. Now that you know how grenades work, and how you can best protect yourself from them, you have a better chance of walking out alive in case of such an attack. So, there you have it. That explains how you can survive a grenade attack. Please remember to also subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.